Ella, can you tell me the dependent event? What is the probability of three, not four, showing up in a dependent event? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Maddie, why do you agree? Well, okay, explain to me your thinking altogether. Can you, do you have any idea? No? Okay. Sophia, can you help me out? Do we agree with three, or one-sixth? Yes, because, um, since we talked it, if we pick A, then we can't, if we go dependent, if we pick A, then you wouldn't use A for um, the you would be, you wouldn't use A again. And since it's asking for, um, three followed by not four, uh -huh. um, there's only two in there, because you can't use three again. Good. So that's two-twelfths, and if you reduce it, it's one-sixth. Two twelfths, and why did you put 12 at the bottom? You told me why you put 2 at the top. You told me that there's only two ways to get 3 that's not 4, 3A and 3, 2. Because um, since for A, you can't use A, so it would be A2, A3, A4. For 2, you can't use 2, so it would be 2A, 2B, 3A, 2A, 4, 3, and, and same for 3 and 4, so you can't use the same number um, twice. So how many total possible outcomes are there? 12. Good, there are a total of 12 possible outcomes. Two of those meet the criteria three but not four, followed by not four. So two twelfths, if you reduce that, it becomes one sixth. Okay? All right, let's do the last one. Five. Or five. Probability of not two but f followed by four. Uh, I want you, no, I want you guys to independently find the answer to this and put it on your whiteboard. Num it's number five. Yeah. Good, I'm excited that you're excited. I know, it's one of those things that as soon as it clicks, you're like, oh, why didn't I see that before? But until it clicks, it's kind of like, who invented probability? Wait, hold on. I'm not having total probability. This is probability. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay. Good. All right. I think listing all of the things. It does. It's exhausting, but it helps. Yeah, but I'm just too lazy to do it. It's kind of hard. Okay. That's reasonable. Okay, if you have an answer, show me your board. If not, keep working. I'm just curious of who has what. I have an answer. You probably just can't see it very well. Miguel. Could they work with it? I don't know. Okay, you guys can put your boards down. All right. With your shoulder partner group, I want you guys to come up with one answer that you totally 100% agree on. Okay. Yeah. All right. In about 30 seconds, I'm going to ask for an answer from each group. One answer per group in about 30 seconds.
One per group. Oh, why are you work? What, you and Robert are partners. Do you and Robert? You you and Robert don't agree. Okay. No, just show me your board. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Miguel, you came up on here. Yes, you did. Shh. Shh. Guys, I still see a lot of head scratching going on. Miguel. What did you get for your independent event for not two, so it can't start with two, but it ends with four? It ends with four. Here's 16. Three sixteenths. Thumbs up or thumbs down? I need, uh, this is the first one, independent events. Thumbs up or thumbs down for three sixteenths? Cal, where are you? Oh, that's right. We lost Cal. Cal down. Layla, do you agree or disagree with three sixteenths? For what question? For independent event on number five. Do you agree or disagree? Why do you disagree? So, no, 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 it says not two, but it wants four. It's the same idea as this one. Three followed by anything but four. This is not two and anything that has four. So it can't start with two, but how many of them end with four that don't start with two? Three. Three. I that, but on mine it says not B, D. She's thinking not, there's like, she's thinking not that it's just of not them. B, D. It's not either of them. Not. Oh. She wasn't reading the comma. No, not B. I look at the comma. I'm reading it. No. No. No, you're not. Hold on. Shh. Shh. No, I'm not 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 I see what she's saying. She may have seen it differently. Not B. It doesn't have B or D in it. I see how she could see it that way. But. What are you saying? I'm saying it's like there's one that says two four on each of them, and it's not that it's everything except that. Because on mine it doesn't on on my number four says C but not D. But on number five it says not B D. It doesn't say C. So then what'd you get for number four? For number four I got three sixteenths and two and one six. So, but then you would, by your logic, then you would be saying that anything, any C that doesn't have D in it, oh, then that works. So, it's just a matter of different, of different reading styles. If they wanted it the way that you're saying it, everything but B, D, the knot would be on the outside of the parentheses. <sighs> Math logic, it's stuff we're not even worried about yet. That's what I did they, how are they supposed to word it then? Because we we want for the first number we want it not to be two. For the first number, not for the second number. For the first number, it could be a three or four. Oh, I see. You see? Okay. Okay. Whoo! Whoo! Caitlin, I'm coming to you. Kay Layla. I totally get where you were coming from. I was just trying to make it make sense to you. Caitlin, do you agree? No, no. Shh. Caitlin, do you agree with three sixteens? Okay, Caitlin, tell me, tell me how many in the independent events don't start with two but end with four. Does AA start with two, not start with two and end with four? Caitlin, does A, let's do the first one. Does A, is A not two? A is 
Very good. Is A four? No. So can that qualify as not two but four? No. Okay. Is A not two? Is A not two? It's oh, yeah, it is. A is not two. <laughs> I was, I was, I was saying Okay, is two four? No. Is A not two? A is not two. Is three four? No. Is A not two? I'm trying to help her think through it. When you interrupt, it's distracting. Is A is not two? Is four four? So does that qualify? Does that qualify for this? Yes. So that's one. All right. Let's do this. Good. Is two not two? Okay. So we. So that doesn't. Does that fit the bill? No. Do, will this one that starts with two fit the bill? What about this one? What about this one? Okay. But the second number does. But do they both fit? Does not two followed by four fit? Does two four fit if it says not two? It says not two. Is this not two? Both have to be true. That is two. But that's not supposed to be. Good. So does this qualify? No, because one of them's wrong. Okay? Caitlin, is three not two? Is A four? No. Is three not two? Is three not two? Three is not two. Is two A four? Is three not two? Is three four? Is three not two? Yes. Is four four? Yes. Look, we have another one that qualifies. Yay! Yeah. We got one more row. Is yeah. four not two? Four is, yes, four is not two. Four is not two. Is A four? No. Is four not two? Yes. Is two four? No. Is four not two? Is three four? Oh. Is four not two? Yes. Is four four? Yeah. How many? So that's another one. So how many total outcomes do we have that fit the bill? Three. Three. And how many total outcomes are there all together? Sixteen. Do you see why it's three sixteenths, Caitlin? Yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Woo! Yes, but. Great! That's wonderful. I'm glad you asked. Caitlin. What's the probability? No, I'm hoping she can do it without my help this time. Caitlin, how many times does not two followed by four come up? Can you go to the smart board and point to them? Just with your finger, please, not with your marker. I was getting worried. One. One. Two. Two. Is that it? <laughs> and what's our bottom number? Twelve. Is that good enough, Caitlin? Is two twelves good enough? No. Why not? Because you have to reduce. What can you divide both of those by? Two. Two divided by two is? What? Twelve divided by two is? Six. Caitlin, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on your understanding of this. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You did it down. All right. <laughs> okay. I think I have like three people who still don't get it, but at least I, I got one. <laughs> yes, Skylar. No. How do you tell the difference? It's like, how do you get the difference Shh. between independent and independent? Good. Who can answer her question? I don't know. 
Sophia, you came up on Dojo for the last one, but I made Caitlin do it. Sophia, how can you tell the difference between independent and dependent? Independent is when if you draw something, say you draw, if there's like blue and red, and you draw blue out of it, and you put it back, you put it back, and you can still get blue, so it's like blue, blue. Instead of, see, for, so if, for, for uh, in, uh, in, independent, we, we put A back, so it would be AA. And then, um, for two and then you can't put A back because you need to put A back. So if you A, you skip A, A, you get it? So, Skylar, what'd you say? What's the difference? You tell me the difference between independent and dependent events. Okay. An independent event, you, if you take a blue, if you take a pink marble, mm -hmm. you can put it back and you can still get pink. Mm -hmm. But an independent, dependent event, if you take a pink marble, you can't put it back, so it can't get pink. Woot woot. Oh my gosh, we are totally making progress even though it's taking a long time. It's only been 16 minutes. No, it hasn't. Oh, that, oh, it started over. How long has it been? Okay. Like, Five, four, three, shh, two, shh, one. I hope the SD card's still recording. All right. Number six. Number six. That would be a yes. We have a most of them have Okay. I need bananas and apples. I'm going to use yellow beads for bananas and red beads for apples. Shh, guys, stay with me. All right, so Ben has three bananas, three bananas. And two apples in a bag. Two apples in a bag. Okay? Shh. He will eat two of the fruits while waiting for the school bus. Okay? So if he draw a tree diagram and list all of the possible outcomes showing which fruit could be eaten. Before we even start, is this going to be independent? Are these going to be independent events or dependent events? Dependent. dependent. Why are they dependent? I'm going to call on somebody. Why do you think these are dependent events? And I'm going to call on somebody at random. Claire, why are these dependent events? Um, because he ate two of them and he can't really spit back out food. So. Right. When you eat one, so let's ta say I take this banana and I eat it. I'm not eating a bead. Can I put the banana that I just ate back? No. No. At least you wouldn't want well, to, you right? Could, you could. At you least. All right. So, I eat a banana. What are my options after I've eaten one banana? I pick out another fruit at random. What are my options? Banana, banana, apple, apple. Banana, banana, apple, apple. Okay? All right. I pull a different banana out of the bag first. What are my options? Okay, I put that. I take a different banana out. Banana, banana, apple, apple. And finally, or no, not finally. I take an apple out first. I could get. Guys, the people who don't understand this are the ones who are talking right now. It's a problem. Stay with me. Okay? All right. And then finally I take this other apple out and I have, could take pull out a? Banana, 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 apple. Okay. Do we want to write these out in parentheses? No. no. Thank God. Okay. So... What is the probability? Oh, how many total outcomes do we have before we start this? How many total outcomes? I'm going to call on somebody at random to tell me how many total outcomes we have. Maddie, how many total outcomes do we have? 20, 20 total outcomes. 
Okay? Great. So the question is, what is the probability that both fruits will be bananas? So we have to have a banana first and a banana second. What's the probability we're getting this? What's the probability we're getting that? What out of what? I'm calling on somebody at random. Skylar? Two out of 20. Two out of 20. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Do we agree? 20. Do we agree? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Jack, do you agree or disagree? Uh, disagree. Disagree. But Skylar, I see, just figured out her mistake. I may have. What's your mistake? Uh, I didn't include the other No. Jack, what do you think? What What's the answer, Skylar? Three out of 20. All right, Jack, do you agree with three out of 20? Yes. What What's the probability that both fruits will be bananas? Isn't one tenth the same thing as two twentieth? Yeah. So do you agree with two twentieth? No. Technically, yes. Hold on. Shh. Jack, how many times does banana banana show up? Really? Really? How many times does banana banana show up? Give me the unreduced fraction first. Oh, uh, Lucy, can you help me out? Um, banana, banana comes up twice in each uh, banana thing. Uh huh. So six total, so it'd be six over twenty, which equals three tenths. So it would be like. Yeah, go up to the board and show. Do you guys? So here's a banana. Here's a banana 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 banana. And here's a banana banana. So how many times does banana banana come up? Five. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Thumbs up on, thumbs up, thumbs down on that. Oh, thank God. Okay. You said banana, banana? Yes. Okay. Shh. What is the probability that neither of the fruits will be banana, banana? So we don't want banana, banana. We don't want a banana at all. So all we want are? Apples. Apples. Nope, I'm going to call on somebody at random. I want to see who's with me. Shh. I have a question. How many times, what's the probability that neither of the fruits, that he'll pick out two fruits and they, neither of them will be bananas? What's your question, Jack? Oh, so, like, does he, he, won't he won't pick a banana at all. Oh. He doesn't, he's, he doesn't want a banana. He's hoping not to pick one. Evan, do you know what the probability of him not picking a banana Well, let's see. Evan, stay with me. Is banana banana? Does that have a banana in it? Yeah. So, can we use the anyone that starts with B? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. No, we can't use any of the ones that start with B, right? Because B indicates banana. Apple banana. Does that have an? A, does that have a banana in it? Yeah. Yeah. Apple banana. Have a banana in it? Yeah. Apple banana. Does that have a banana in it? Apple banana, apple, apple, does that have an apple in it? A banana in it? No. So many bananas. All right, so. I didn't need bananas. <laughs> how many times does apple, apple show up, Evan? <laughs> Two twentieths. And that reduced is? One tenth, yes? Yeah. Thumbs up or thumbs down?
know what? 